This is high knees. Just make sure your knees go above your hips so that your legs get warmed up. Doing butt kicks, and when your knees are going up, make sure your arms are going so you get maximum speed. <laughs> I'm doing side lunges now. Just make sure your knee stays behind your toe and you get down as low as you can and push up. Then switch side. I'm doing leg raise scissors and here we're going to work on flexibility so try and get your legs as high as you can. I'm doing hip twists now. This is just to loosen you up. We're going to do a leg swing into a squat and make sure your knees are behind your toes once again. Switch. Okay guys, we're doing standing box jumps into a squat. So what you want to do is use your arms and you're going to power up into a squat. And then you step down. one foot to two feet jump and squat and we're going to do three both sides and then when you switch you'll do the same thing with your butt we're going to do our volleyball approach jump sticks and if you're left handed you want to do the left handed way and if you're right handed you want to follow me our lunge routine. I have a weight down there because I'm going to use that as a platform to step on. It's going to help me go deeper into the lunge. The deeper you go into the lunge, the more you'll get out of the lunge. If you just go short lunges, you're going to build bulk into your quad. This is a regular lunge. Keep your knee behind your toe and push off. Do both sides of each lunge. We're going to do the same thing, everything that Molly said, except for you're going to have your arms over your head. And we're going to do all the one leg at the same time, so we're not rotating. Okay, now we're going to do a lunge into a twist. You want to twist over the leg that's forward. Remember to keep your knee behind your toe. So you lunge down, twist. Come back, push up. Down, twist, come back. Push okay, this is the same lateral lunge we did in the warm up, but now we have a weight and it's going to build our muscle. You want to make sure your knee is behind your toe. When you go down, hold, push up with that front leg. You're going to get more for your gluteus maximus. <sighs> This is a leg press, and you want to make sure that you start out with this as tight to your feet as you can. So you're going to have to adjust this and push it down. Uh, that way you don't hit the, the weights whenever you come down. You want to start out at a 90 degree angle. You want to have your toes higher than your knees, so your toes should probably be touching the top of this, if not above it. Uh, and then the higher your toes are, the more you're going to work your butt. The lower your feet are, the more you're going to work your quads. And you definitely want nicer butts than you do quads. So uh, we're going to keep those toes high. You're going to push up and slowly release down to a 90 degree angle. Let's push up, come back down. Your feet should be a little wider than shoulder width apart. This is the Romanian deadlift. Just taking the bar arms a little bit farther than shoulder width apart and you're going down to the floor and right back up. Now we're going to do hydrants and this is basically for your hips. This will get you good butts for the summer is in those bikinis. You're going straight up so that your leg is parallel to the floor and if you can do this in front of a mirror so that you can check yourself and see if your leg is parallel. This is what we're going to use for adductor in CV's weightlifting room. Obviously we know that the bands are better, but 
This will do for here. And you just come across like this, and it's called adductor, abductor, ABD. First is dumbbell sledgehammer, and here we're basically swinging like a baseball bat. Swing it out and bring it back. And the entire time you want to keep your core tight. Now we're going to do bicycle crunches. You're doing a hundred of these. You're keeping your legs low to the ground, bringing your opposite elbow to your knee. So you're coming back and forth. Now we're doing lower abdominal heel taps. You want to rotate legs. And don't rush this because you'll get more out of it. And the further you kick this toe back, you'll feel it in your lower abs. Now we're going to do reach to the sky. And here you want to make sure your arms are literally reaching to the sky. You don't want to reach forward. 